Okay, so I just tried to get some access to the south fork of the American River to Pollock Pines, and I came up Four Bay Road, and I was hoping that um, King of the Mountain Road would get me close enough to the forestry that I could just, you know, hike in, but I got up there and it was all just tight, tight, tight roads, even more narrow than this. This is barely big enough for one car. Uh, the paved roads up there were glorified quad trails, so no go on that. Outside of Colfax, uh, on BLM land, the whole area is a fee area, you have to pay $10 a day, so I'm attempting to just drive straight through on the mountain road of death. There's, this is narrower than, this is like one lane on Logan's Pass, there's no way that, it would be extremely difficult and dangerous to get two cars side by side up here. Um, so I'm hoping to get past this very dangerous area quickly and get onto forestry land and I hope that that area is also not day use only otherwise well I'm just gonna camp there anyway because I'm way too far in to be driving this road at night super dangerous This area is kind of creepy because there was a mountain lion around here. I haven't seen it, but some guys I ran into said there was one kicking around. There's the river down, down there. It's about a five kilometer hike back up through this old path. Last night it rained heavily on the way back and became pitch black by, uh, 4.30 and I couldn't see 50 feet in front of me and then with my light I could only see 20 feet in front of me because it, it rained even harder. <sighs> the closest thing I can compare it to is hike, walking through a dark train tunnel that also happens to be pouring rain inside. Yeah. It reminded me of Every horror movie I've ever seen. Movies like Pitch Black. Anyway, it's gonna take me. It's gonna take me about two hours to walk up the hill. It takes an hour and a half to get down. Uh, last night. There was so much rain <sighs> that this old, old path turned into a, a creek with uh, mud and pine needles and little sticks coming down towards me. And, and, you know, every now and then I could hear some rumbling, some crashing in the forest and started thinking that I was going to get buried in some kind of mudslide. So I'm glad that didn't happen. So today, I'm leaving about an hour early to make sure that doesn't happen again because it was a miserable, miserable two hours. And I didn't think I could make it, but I did. I went back down and found five times as much gold as I did the first day. So hopefully tomorrow, when I bring my metal detector down and Clear some rocks off of some bedrock. I'll get some nice pickers there. Okay. There's my little catch of gold that I got sniping in the American River. You can see the chunks in there. It's kind of difficult to see, but uh, there's actually quite a bit of gold to snipe. It's all small pickers and large flakes but that's what I found in two days but really it took takes four hours to hike down and back when I got out of the 
the North Fork of the American River yesterday, there was a, a grumpy guy there who was asking me what I was doing because I was camped about 30 meters from his private property, but still on BLM nevertheless. He was a grouchy fellow, and he asked me with a growl in his voice what I was doing there, and I I simply smiled and said, oh, I've been sniping down on the river, and I've taken that path over there straight down to the river, and that path over there straight down to the river led way into BLM, away from his land, and he simply just turned away from me and waved and left. That was it. So after that, I, I moved campsites, I don't know, about 10 kilometers away and, and tried sniping in a much smaller waterway, a little creek. But it is total Hicksville over here. There's gunfire all day long, probably because it's a weekend, but still there's, there's shotgun shells everywhere. There's brass shells everywhere. There's shot up trees everywhere there's targets that are shot up everywhere and i've been hearing nothing but gunfire all day long i even heard a ricochet go past me which was a little which was quite unsettling so i've been sitting down by my campfire rather than standing up hoping that i don't catch some once in a lifetime accidental bullet there's so much humidity here some of my blankets got quite damp, even wet, so I'm airing them out so they don't mold. Hmm. I did a little bit of diving today, didn't find anything in this particular creek, but whatever, I'm done, so it doesn't matter. The nice thing about this area is people have had hooks up in the trees, so I ran a line and made use of it. I've been drying up my wetsuit and even though the forest is sopping wet and soggy I still managed to find some wood with a lot of resin in it with some snap in it that burned quite well found some oil which has quite a bit quite a beneficial effect on helping wet wood burn anyway that's California for you.